Hello, students. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to the Sweet Sounds of Reading TV. Now, my name is Tudor Vanessa, and it's my job to make sure that you are able to break down the sounds inside of any words so that you can read anything. Now, in today's class, it's going to be a continuation of the Crazy Mix Partners. Now, at first glance, you might recall that crazy mixed partner groups might look like a bunch of difficult sound out rules that you're going to have to remember. But don't fret. And here's why. There's an easy to remember letter sound out pattern about this crazy mixed group. Now, even though we're going to learn nine different ways, or there are nine different partners, um, in, in the crazy mix pairings or groupings, there's only five spelling patterns or sound patterns that you have to um, be concerned with. And the patterns are, the sound patterns are this, a, u, oi, ow, and o. All right? Now, in today's class, we're going to learn about a new um, crazy mix partner sound, u. All right? Now, u can be spelled e-w or o-o. And let's um, get into the class and see how that works. First things first, I want you to say this word with. I want you to say the word boo. You say it. Boo. Now listen closely. What's the last sound that you hear when you say boo? Boo, right? You hear ooh. Let's say that ooh partner sound or that yeah, that partner sound three times. I'm gonna say it first and I want you to say it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You say it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good job, good job, good job. Now, here's something else that I want you to know. This is a sound movement clue. See the little girl on the screen here? So, this ooh sound movement is an action clue. I want you to think of it as an action clue or a reminder to help you remember how to sound out ooh partner sounds. And to practice this sound or this action movement, you simply circle both fingers over your eyes just like this and you say ooh. So if there are any parents or reader teachers in the room, when you're helping your student with today's homework assignments and they forget how to sound out a word that features one of the ooh partners, instead of giving them the answer, just do this. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's ooh. All right, all right. Moving right along. So we're going to learn about these crazy mixed partner sound pictures. Ooh or ooh. All righty then. Something else that that's um, a little peculiar, a little interesting, that um, these two um, partner sounds, also you can think of them as copycat sounds. What's a copycat? Somebody that copies off of you, right? And the reason they're called copycat sounds is because both make the, the same last sound that you hear in boo, right? So ooh can be spelled either O-O or E-W. See how they copy off each other? Either way, depending on the word, it still makes the ooh sound. All right. So we're going to practice making the ooh sound. And I, want you, you're gonna, I want you to see how ooh can be spelled either O-O or E-W. So the very first word is hoot. Hoot. Like um, there was an old commercial that said, give a hoot, don't pollute. Like care about what you're doing. Hoot. All right. Or you might hoot a horn. Hoot. The very next word is few. Few. You say it. Few. All right. And notice how in um, the very first partner sound is it's spelled O-O and the second one spelled E-W, but they both make kind of the ooh sound. Right. And the next word is cool. Like cool, man. Are you cool? All right. So cool is spelled O-O. All right. And then what about new? New. OK. And notice four words. Two different spellings, right? So ooh can be either spelled ooh, o o or or e w. Remember they're copycat sounds. So new. Did you get a lot of new stuff for Christmas? New. Good job. Or do you get a lot of new stuff for Christmas? All right. This is a part of your homework where you're gonna sandwich the partner sounds. Today's feature sound is the ooh sound, right? So the steps when you get your homework, you're gonna see your SOS bookmark, which an SOS just stands for for sound out steps. Very first step you're gonna do is you're gonna underline the partner. The second step you're gonna sandwich that partner between the sound on the right and the sound on the left. All right. So I've done a couple of examples for you in class today. The very first one, you're going to underline the ooh partner. Then you're going to sandwich between the S sound and the N sound. And the word is soon. 
Now the very next one, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit different because it just this this word consists of nothing but partners, right? So first you're going to underline the featured partner. That means the, the partner that we're working on, the highlighted partner, which is who. And then and then we're going to underline the, the next partner. Remember way back classes, way 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 back, we learned about the H partner sound ch, 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 right? And chew, right? So there's really no, no partner to sandwich because this whole word is partners. Chew. Like chew your food really well before you swallow it. Chew. Good job. Now this next one, almost the same thing. You're going to underline the featured partner, which is oo, right? But there's a partner right beside it, which is another H partner. Shh. So let's just sound out the, the two partners. Chew. Now you'll also remember when you're breaking down a word, you always circle the vowel. And sandwich the vowel, right? So the vowel in this word is a letter A. This is A, eh, right? And then um, what's left over is, is the letter C. And we've already used the um, SH with this first sandwich. So remember that sandwiches don't share when you're sounding out. So you would sound out this sandwich, cat, and the second one is shoe. Now, if there anybody in the in the audience or anybody here in the class for the very first time, if this sandwich, if making word sandwich is not familiar, you're gonna have to go back over some past classes, okay? So anyway, so in your homework, there's a whole sheet of words where you get to practice um, um, sandwiching the partner sounds, or and if there are additional sounds, you're gonna you know do your thing, so to speak. Alrighty then. Moving right along. More homework. This is the eye tracking exercise. Remember, where you you when you do this at home, you're gonna track the sounds, the sounds, or read the words featuring the sounds using your eyes only. So your eyes should look something like this, right? You're not moving your head. You're holding the paper up to your nose level, right? And you're just tracking, right? When you get to the end of the line, your eyes should whip to the next line. Not remember, not moving your head, just your eyes. So this is strengthening or you're building up your eye muscles, right? All right, so let's do it in class quickly today and slow it down when you get to your homework and do it at your own pace. All right, so starting right here, let's go. Ooh, food. Ooh, group. Ooh, hoop. Ooh, stew. Ooh, and the second part of the homework, you know that you know the drill, right? You're gonna take away the lines and you're gonna do it one more time. So let's do it quickly in class again and slow it again. When you do your homework, slow it down at your own pace. Ooh, food. Ooh, guru. Ooh, hoop. Ooh, stew. Ooh, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. More homework. This is the printing and writing portion of your homework where you're going to use this um this tracing page to trace the featured partner sounds and or to trace words that um that that feature the, the the partner sound and remember um it's really important that your your writing is is the form and everything is perfect okay so remember the the, the sky fence um, ground lines and if you don't again go back over past classes and refresh or review all right and then when you get finished with the um the, the the printing portion of the class then you're going to move right into the hand the um the cursive writing now in all the past classes i've said levels one two and three but if you're at um this class if you're at level if you're at class number 40 especially my my level one students you're a level two now if not three so we're not going to even mention from this this going forward i'm not going to mention the three levels because everybody should do the printing and the cursive writing at this point all righty then more homework, and this is where I want you to see the sounds right here in your third eye, your mind's eye, okay? So in this particular exercise, what you're going to be doing is you're going to um, read the word. You're going to look at it, you're going to read it, and then you're going to close your eyes and sound and listen for the, the how many sounds you hear, okay? So the featured sound in today's class um, exercise is the word broom, broom. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. Please, please, please. Close your, keep it closed. And say the word broom. How many sounds you hear in broom? Let's say you hear the b, er, ooh, mm, open your eyes. You hear four sounds. Five letters in this word, but there's only four sounds. The second part you're going to do is not only are you going to write the sounds, how many sounds you hear on the, on the line, you're going to write the sound types. Remember the four types are, are um, bounce, slide, breath, air, quickie, too. So in the word broom, the B is the letter B is a bounce sound. The letter R is a slide sound. The partner sound O O 
oh, oh, is a partner sound, I should say, and, and the letter M is a slide sound. Okay. So again, that's a part of your homework um, practice. All right, moving right along, more homework. But this is where you get to play a little game, you get to have a little fun. You're going to make some flashcards. You're going to ask your your parent or reader teacher to make two copies on this page of this page on thick paper. And then you're going to cut out little flashcards. And what you're going to note on each flashcard is a action clue. The ooh, action clue. So just in case you forget, you're going to know you're going to be looking for that ooh sound cuz you see that that um that action um clue right there okay so again when you cut out when you make your flashcard you can you can play the memory game or or go fish or just use the um cards as a as a um as flashcards is what i'm trying to say all right moving right along more homework and this is the crazy mix partner um read the clues and write the words on the line and all these words feature the ooh sound okay so in the very first clue number one you got to write the word if. You got to think about the word if plus o o d. If you take away the i, what's left? Food. All right. So you're gonna read the clues and write the um the word that's left, and I'll always use them in a sentence. All right. What's coming up next? More homework. And this and and in this particular activity, you're going to um this this is sort of a um sound spelling activity, but there's one extra kind of layer. Now the letter the the partner sounds the vowel partners u e you remember many 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 classes back when two vowels are going to walk in the first one does the talking it says it's letter name not letter sound but when u e are partners or vowel partners it says ooh okay so you're going to listen for you're going to see the, you're going to um, circle the word that has the same ooh sound as the first word so in this number one zoo the word in this line that has the first the same sound is food all right number two blue the word that has the same sound as glue. Good job. All right. So if you don't remember, if you don't recall the um, the, the partner sound or the vowel partner um, rule, go back to that particular class and, and do a review. Okay. Okay. Moving right along. Now this is where you show your stuff. You show what you know. Okay. So this is called the Reading Words Fluency Practice Set Number One. And what you're going to do is you're going to sound out the words. Um, that feature the ooh sound. And to keep everybody engaged, I suggest that you do this with your parent or your reader teacher. They read a word, you read a word. They read a word, and you read a word, okay? And um, remember to use each and every word in a sentence. We don't want you to just be word callers. We want you to be, we want you to comprehend. I mean, we want you to understand what you're reading. So always use the word in a sentence or give a definition all right and if you're having any problems your mom or your um, reader teacher they have little instructions to let them know to um write how many errors you're making and to, to kind of track the, what kind of um errors or mistake patterns that you're making and you can go back over and practice um those things all right now the second part Still, you're showing what you know, but these words are a little more challenging. But they're no, they're not too hard because if you know the letter sound um, codes, what's the rule? There's no such thing as a word too hard to read for those that know the letter sound codes. So if you've been practicing and practicing, piece of cake. All right. Remember to look for um, compound words where they're two small words squished together to made to look like a big word. Okay, but I think you'll be okay. And again. All the stuff you've learned in all 40 classes up until today. So whatever tools that you need, you know, to, to sound out these words. Remember, you can dance them out. Remember, we learned how the, the letter sound dance. Or you can um, sandwich the vowel or whatever works for you. I've given you many, many tools to use. So whichever is your favorite, whatever works for you to help you sound out these words. Get a scratch sheet of paper. Do your stuff. Do your stuff. All righty then. All right. Now here's something else about um, the the part the, the crazy mix partners. Ooh. Many many words that you're gonna come across. Um, they they make a sound. I call it the caveman grunt. Ooh, ooh, you do it. Ooh, all right. So I want you to imagine a caveman, caveman wanting to talk to each other, but they can't talk, so they can only grunt. Ooh, 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 all right. So these are these are a few very common everyday words that feature the o o crazy mix partner sounds that makes the caveman grunt sound so it goes something like this book 
brook, uh, cook, uh, crook, uh, foot, uh, good, uh, hood, uh, hoof, uh, hook, uh, look, uh, stood, uh, took, uh, wood, uh, wood. See how they all made that, that caveman grunt, right? All right, so you're going to practice that in your homework and remember to use those words in a sentence. All right, now here's a uh, silly little story. I call this the, the grunt sound story, the oof story, okay? So you're going to, this is a part of your homework. But we're, I'm going to read it, we're going to read it quickly. Let's read it together. Or when you get your homework, um, try reading it along. So a no good crook stole the cookbook. He stood on the hood and took off on foot into the woods. So let's look for him beside the brook. We will not let him pull the wool over our eyes, and we cannot let this crook off the hook. And so you'll see this little silly little story, and they all feature the, the cave, caveman partner sound, oh, oh, partner sounds, okay? So practice that in your homework. Now, something else about um, the crazy mix partner, oh, oh, there's a lot of clowning around this, this partner, right? And in this, these three, these particular words, the, um, the oh, oh partner that should say, ooh, is clowning around. What, is clown, what, is, what happens when a sound clowns around? It goofs off. It doesn't make the sound that it should be making. It's acting silly kind of, right? So in all of these words, the, the, uh, the, the OO partner is clowning around. Now, when we look at the, the sound out clues that I provided for you. We're going to go step by step, or word by word. But remember, a heart represents what? That's a, that's a clue. That's a symbol for a partner sound. And a triangle is a symbol or a clue for a clown sound. So if you see a heart inside of a triangle, that's telling you that the partner sounds clowning around, right? Okay. So looking at the very first word using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this word? Now, did you say door? Good job, door. Like when you enter a house, you open the door. And notice how the O O that should say O is saying O. Right? It's almost like that second O is just silent. Because this looks like, if you look at it, you didn't know, it looks like door, right? Because remember, O should, should say O, but it's clowning around. Door. Let's do this the second one. Using the sound out clues I provided for you, you can tell me what this word is before I give you the answer. Did you say poor? Good job. If you don't have any money, you feel poor. Poor. Again, when you look at this word, if you didn't know, based on the clues, based on the the, the um the sound out rules that we've learned, this word looks like poor, like poor, like you poor, but it's pronounced poor, poor. And again, the partner's clown around, and all you hear is the oh poor. Last one, same thing. Floor, floor. Maybe your mom or your dad. Um, when they mop the floor, they say, don't walk in that kitchen. The floor is wet. Floor. And each time, the, the OO partner's clowning around. Now, look at the OO partner's doing more clowning. But in this particular, um, these two words, the OO partner's clowning around. Now, what sound should the OO partner, what's the rule? The, the crazy mixed partner OO should say, ooh. But in these two words, it's saying, uh. So it's clowning around, it's acting off, it's being silly, it's pretending that it's the letter U, all right? So using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this very first word? Did you say blood? Blood. We all have blood underneath our skins, right? If you cut yourself open, you'll see blood gushing out, blood. What about the second word here? Did you say flood? Flood. If a pipe bursts in your basement or something, the house will, your basement will be, will be full of water. It'll be a flood of water. Okay, flood. Good job. All right. Now, here's a word where the OO is not clowning around. It's saying ooh. It's supposed to say ooh, and in this word, it's pronounced ooh. But there's another letter in this word that is clowning around. And using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound off this word? And let me let's do a, a quick 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 um symbol recap. We know that the a, a heart represents a partner sound. Ooh. We know that the twin sounds represents two identical letters in this word making one sound. Ooh. And but this letter A, what sound does the letter A make? Ah. 
but in this word it's clowning around it's goofing off it's being silly it's making the uh sound all right so this word what does it look like it looks like balloon balloon but it's pronounced balloon balloon all right good job now have you ever been to a birthday party where there was a bunch of balloons floating up in the air balloon good job now here's a place that um you go to learn stuff but there's some there's some hanky panky going on in this word there's some clowning going around now we learned that the um, partner sound ch what sound should this partner sound ch make ch, right ch. But in this word, using the sound dot clues that I provided for you, the CH is clowning around. This partner is clowning around saying, it's acting goofy. It's acting like it's the K. Now, this word looks like schul, schul. But that's not how it's pronounced. It's not pronounced schul. Do you go to schul? Nah. It's pronounced school, right? School. So in this particular word, the letter CH, the partner CH, as you can see here, a partner clowning around, is pronounced, it's goofing off, it's acting up, it's being silly, it's making the K sound school. Where do you go to school? Or do you like this online reading school? I hope you do, because I like working with you. All right, school. All righty then. More clowning around of this this crazy mix. Ooh, partner sounds. Now, in these um, words, the partner sound, E-W, remember I said it's a copycat sound. It copies off of O-O. It should say ooh, but in these words, it's saying you. It sounds like you when you sound it out, when you sound out the word. So this very first word, using the sound out clues that I provided, can you sound out this word? Did you say few, few, right? So a few is like if you have three, three things, just a few things. Now, this word looks like foo, doesn't it? It looks like foo, but it's almost like you're pronouncing the letter F, and then you're saying you. Few, few, few. All right. Same thing here. The the um, partner sound EW, which should say ooh, is clowning around saying you. All right. Can you sound out this word? Mew, mew. What's a cat say? Mew, mew. When he wants a milk, doesn't the cat say meow, 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 meow? All right. Let's just let's center this a little better. Very first word here. What's this word? Pew, pew. Okay. So if you go to church, the benches or the seats that you sit on is called a pew. Let's look, let's look at this next word. Spew, spew. What does spew mean? To throw up, spew up, Blech. it's a nasty word, spew. Now look at this last word. Look at the sound out clues that I provided for you. Remember a heart represents what? A partner sound. See the heart, the two hearts in this word? This heart is just telling you that the partner is saying it's, it's, it's real sound. But this heart inside of a clown hat is telling you that this partner is clowning around. So this partner is saying you. So, can you sound out this word? Curfew. Curfew. Remember that you. Curfew. Now, a curfew is a time that you have to be someplace. Now, when I was growing up, outside playing, my curfew was when the street lights come home. So, my mom said, you better be home before the lights come on. That was my curfew. Good job. Curfew. All right. Moving right along. So, this is... um. The second part of your homework where you're going to show your letter sound out skills but in this particular um activity the word the the partner oh oh is clowning around so in the very first half is making that grunting that caveman sound ooh, ooh, ooh. and then the second part it's clowning around saying oh the, the next part is it's making the oh uh sound and then the next part um the oh oh Features, I'm sorry, there are sounds, letter sounds or partners that are clowning around in the um, OO sound. And then the very last part of this part of your homework is where the EU is saying you. So again, you're going to work with a parent or a reader teacher where they're going to read a word and you're going to read a word and you're going to say the definition or you're going to use a word in a sentence. And if you're having any problems, just go back over and recap or go, that means to review or go back over whatever um, partner sound or words is giving you a problem. Okay, so make sure you, you practice this until you get it. All right, then.
So now we're going to, now where are we? We're at the letter sound codes countdown. So with, in this class, you have learned 64 letter sound codes, 64 of them. We only have 39 to go. That doesn't sound like a lot anymore. Remember when we started way over here and you had like 80, 90 to go, right? You've only got 39 more letter sound codes to go. Good job. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> wonderful. Give me a hand. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. So as we wrap up today's class, let's see where we are. We're at the portion of the class where I'm asking you to give me a thumbs up if you learned something new today or if you found something interesting in, in this class that you could share with somebody else, okay? And if there are any parents or reader teachers in the room, I want you to hit that, that subscribe button, all right? So that way, uh, whenever a new class becomes available, you'll be one of the first ones to know. But last but not least, by all means, I want you to tell somebody. I want you to ask your mom or your dad or your parent or your, or your reader teacher or whomever to send a text or pick up the phone and, and, and just share with um, friends and family or whoever about the sweet sounds of reading online classes. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Now, before you go, and please don't go yet. There's a couple of things I want you to remember. Two quick things. Number one is practice makes perfect. So I want you to practice, practice, practice. Everything you learned about the ooh partner sounds. Remember this ooh partner sound. There's a lot of clowning around, okay? And the ooh partner sounds um, can be spelled either E-W or O-O. -O. And the reason I want you to practice is because, or I should say practice these um, letter sound codes, is because for children who know the letter sound codes, and who's that? Well, that's you. That's right. There's no such thing as a word too hard to read. So, students, with that being said, I'll see you in the next class, okay? Bye for now.